One of the real advantages of using video is that you have the ability to use what's called a green screen or a virtual background, kind of use those two interchangeably. And with a tool like Zoom, you have the option to do some amazing things with the right equipment. That's what we're going to talk about right now. Hi, I'm Jerry Brock, and I want to show you a tool that I'm using right now. It's pretty nice that I can do on some of the devices I have use there, but uh, not use it on others. And that is a virtual background. Right now, I'm using my iPad. This is an iPad 7. And that's important that you have the right kind of tool, because without it, then it's not going to work. I also have a MacBook Pro, and my MacBook Pro, which is a few years older, is using an i5 processor, does not have the horsepower, so to speak, to use a virtual background without a real green screen. Right now, I'm right outside here. Let me just stand up and look, let you look around here. I'm seeing outside of what's going on here in our world. It's kind of a cloudy day here in Orlando today. And I'm just out here on the porch, on the balcony, sitting down, just enjoying a nice time to chat with you a little bit. And I'm using my iPad right now. You'll notice there's just a wall behind me. Nothing here, nothing uh, about a green screen there. It doesn't have to be like this, but it's a nice little wall for getting a few things done. We'll do this in a little bit closer there. And uh, what I can do is I can use a virtual background with this without having a green screen behind me. Let me illustrate what possible here. I'm going to tap a few things on the screen here and go over here and I'm going to select virtual background. And when I do, it gives me a ch several choices at the bottom. Now, you don't see these, but I'm seeing them right now. Like for instance, one of the most common, oh, I could use this. This comes with Zoom. It's there. Now look what's happening. It put that in there just by me tapping on it. I don't have to change anything behind me and I don't have to have a real green screen there. I can use some of these pictures that are there, pictures that come with it that are available within Zoom, make it kind of nice that way. Or here's what you really do, pictures that I took. You can take the pictures that you took. This is one that was on the side of a road as I was driving through Colorado once, a little bit blurry there. But uh, here's something even better. Look at this. I'm looking out over at the lake. And you might think, well, that looks kind of nice, Terry. Uh, where, where is that? Well, let me show you where that is. I'm going to go back to none here. And then I'm going to stop this and flip the camera around so that you can see exactly what it is. Now, this is what I'm looking at right now. I just flip the camera here in Zoom so you can see over there. And that's what I was looking at. Matter of fact, if I zoom in on a little bit, you'll see that's what it looks like right now. Yes, again, it's a cloudy day. And by the way, I'm looking at Universal Studios there. See, there's the uh, volcano. That they have erupting. This is Universal Studios here in Orlando. Excuse my shakiness. I'm holding this in my hand. There's one of the rides. And over here, well, by golly, look at that. We'll zoom in a little bit more. This is real shaky. I know. I know. I need to set my tripod down. It is Harry Potter's world. Well, I'm going to change this a little bit here, come back here, and I'm going to show you what we can do. I took a picture of that the other day. And what I can do is now I can use that regularly. I'm going to tap here, go back into the virtual background, tap on the virtual background, and I'm going to tap on this. And I want you to notice what's happened. Now, right above me, right there, Harry Potter's world. And I've been able to take that picture. Think about what you're going to be able to do. With the right tools, you can take a virtual background, put it right there behind you, and make sure that it looks good. You see, here's another nice thing about it. So I can stand up and I'm walking now. Notice I'm walking around, just walking. You don't know where I am, but I'm walking and moving around, but I still keep the same background as if I were stationary. So that now I can have a different background and uh, wherever I want. Think about the power of this. I'll come back over here and sit down. This opens up a world of possibilities. And actually, it really shows the future of where we're going. The future with virtual background is that you won't need to have the physical screen there. You'll be able to put whatever picture you want. So like, there it is. I can have Harry Potter's world on there all the time. I'm sitting here. I'm talking to you, connecting with you, and sending out content and messages on my device that enables that. I'm using the iPad 7, and it does that uh, very well, as you can see. Although it's not perfect yet. Notice there's still a little bit of fuzziness here. Every so often, if I move my arms around, things like that, you see some funny things starting to happen there with it. So it's not 100% uh, perfect yet, but I think it's good enough. It's good enough to send videos to people that you know, people that you're communicating with, you want to have some fun with it. You can use this for quite a few things. Let me know what you think. I'll look forward to getting your opinion. Are you using Zoom? Are you using some other tool like that? How are you dealing with virtual backgrounds? 
green screen, blue screen, whatever we're going to call it. I'll look forward to hearing from you. I'm Terry Brock at terrybrock.com. And come on over sometime. I'd love to get a chance to hear your comments there on my website. You can reach me through various social means, uh, social media. I work with a lot of people coaching and consulting and marketing, professional speaking, and using video online to generate more business. Hope you have a great day. And thanks for stopping by today.